Good morning, everybody. Welcome to 307 Country. Well, today we need to go fix some fence. I, um, up here on top of the hill, I got a hole cut in the fence so that the uh, internet guys could get up to the tower that I built up there and work on it. Uh, this winter, they didn't want to try to climb this hill. And uh, the ranchers are going to be putting cattle out on the BLM here soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but I need to go up and fix the fence so we don't get a bunch of cows down in here. So, got to build a gate and uh, build a couple braces, stretch some wire, etc., etc. So, we'll go do that today for a little bit. Um, I got everything here I think I need some poles and uh, wire. Staples, fence stretcher, fence and pliers, chainsaw, etc., etc. <laughs> so, without uh, any more messing around, let's go climb a hill and get some fencing done. thing we got to do is cut this wire off replace this brace here because this post is broke so uh, we need to cut these brace wires down and uh, get rid of this post and attach everything to that post so we'll get to that and uh, I'm not sure you built this but man they got enough staples in here to last that's for sure this taken apart and we'll come back and build this brace real quick.
already spilt. Uh, I gotta cut that off. We'll stretch some wire here. Okay, I left that loose so the wire will slide through it. And I put it on wrong. I gotta pull that. This one needs to go up the top. explain that a little bit so we're gonna stretch the wires down here on this fence we're gonna stretch those wires and pull them up here put tension on them so they're gonna to want to pull this post that way so with this in here that load will be transferred to that post with the wire brace running down to the bottom it will counteract the force that we're putting on that post this together. And take something that you can twist that with. go of this because it'll hurt you.
So they're stretching the wire. You just push on this to release it. That's pretty tight. So I'll get the rest of them up and we'll come back. All right, well, typical Wyoming wind had to come up. We're gonna go ahead and start building the gate. First thing, I just spooled off a little bit of wire here. Need to build some loops. So, uh, side of the gate so they don't need to be very far out from the post. Yeah, something about like that probably work. So I need four of these, one on each side, top and bottom. So I'll go ahead and get those done and we'll come back. Actually, I'm gonna put that about like that. Get them in there, staple them in place. down to the house and get something to drink and went to grab my hammer I forgot it. But anyway, we'll get the rest of these built and they'll come back. I got the wires up, you can see those, and then a couple little posts put in there for the gate posts. Now if we're, if this was strictly a cattle ranch, we'd probably put barbed wire on this the whole way, but since I got horses in here, we're doing just, uh, well, I guess they got bar barbed wire on this whole thing, so. Usually if you're building the horse fence, you just have the top wire barbed wire and the other three are smooth. But that's what we got down in the down below, but this is I guess against cattle. So Alright, so we got that one. have a serrated edge in the, in the grip here. You can put that over the wire like that. Uh, 
That's kind of how you tighten it. You don't want these super tight, otherwise you won't be able to open the gate. Put uh, four more wires up here and we'll come back. Alright, well, we got some wires stretched in here, not super tight. So we'll go ahead and staple these up. these wires. And we'll take the saw and cut these down. Be a little tight, but it'll get worn out. Yep.
know, keep the cows out. That's all, all that matters. And uh, then we can get through it once in a while. All this stuff will stretch out a little bit. They're going to push on it a little here and there, but stretch the wires out a little bit. It'll get a little looser, make it easier to work. But that's it. Hope y'all learned a little bit maybe about how things go out here in the west and uh, the wind. <laughs> and uh, I want to say thanks to everybody that's been subscribing and everybody that has subscribed. All you guys are awesome. Um, really appreciate the way the comments go and everybody interacting in the comments. I'm going to pack it up and go start another project. So maybe we'll see you on that one. 307 out.